Rocksters, it's me. I'm out of the house. There's still a pandemic. Very much so. Um, <laughs> join me as I continue to slowly emerge into the world. Um, today's plans. Um, well, I've got my hair in the, the curly bun again. Uh, if you watch, you may remember from last week's vlog, we attempted this. It wasn't terrible, but it didn't completely dry last week. So I've gone for a smaller scarf, which also matches my outfit. Um, and also uh, kind of blast dried my hair a bit with the hair dryer before I put it in the bun. So tomorrow, tomorrow we will see whether that is any better. All the, the trepidation and the excitement and the suspense. Um, so yeah, uh, I've also got some fruit soaking in much butter, much sugar and much coffee liqueur to make um, Nigella's chocolate fruit cake because my father was complaining. Somebody's car alarm's going off. I'm just gonna have to carry on. Um, oh, it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Um, yeah, my father was complaining about the lack of good fruitcake in his life last time I saw him and they are looking after Wesley for us tomorrow night and in a couple of weeks they're looking after him for a whole weekend and I last night booked us a little weekend away. I'm very, very excited. I booked a little shepherd's hut with an outdoor kind of, I think it's a bath with like jacuzzi jets. It doesn't look like a hot tub. It looks like kind of a metal bath, but it says it's got jacuzzi jets. I don't quite know how it's going to work. But yeah, book that. And then it's got like, it's in the grounds of the place. It's got an amazing looking restaurant. Um, I'm very excited for this. Only in Staffordshire, so we're quite local. Um, but it will be our first kind of overnight stay somewhere that isn't Cornwall or like my mum and dad's um you know in this pandemic era so that's another little first sorted now just waiting to go and get a blood test which is always fun um because my body doesn't like to give up blood uh just check just to check up on something I've had going for a while which looks like it's absolutely fine but it's good that the good old NHS are keeping an eye on me grateful for that because obviously there is a lot of pressure on them at the moment there's a lot of stuff going on uh, but I've had to come to like the little hospital clinic for this because of my uh, lack of ability to give blood. Um, the phlebotomist has to do it. The doctors won't even attempt it with me anymore. So yeah, doing that. And then I'm going to pop into town afterwards, grab some lunch and just got a few errands to run. I've got to pick up a bit of Jess's birthday present um, that I did click and collect. So we're going off to Jess's tomorrow to celebrate, to celebrate with her. Normal Friday night takeaway stuff, finish off the cakes because that fruit will be all soaky and lovely. Um, pick up a cake for Jess. So yeah, just pick up a few bits for Jess's birthday. I think that's it. Blood's done. Phlebotomist, I felt very sorry for. Ended up having to get me to run my hands under hot water to try and get a vein to appear. And then, sorry if you're squeamish, look away. I ended up having to have it out of the back of my hand. Oh, oh. It was the only vein you could find. So yeah, I definitely deserve to get myself some nice lunch now. So, into town errands yeah errands run that was my first time in the ball ring in this pandemic era oh so many firsts um there weren't a lot of people wearing masks there weren't a lot of people wearing masks everywhere i went to be honest um but it wasn't very busy so it's fine and it's just a bit sad to see like top shop gone and debenham's gone and disney store gone like Lots of empty shops, but I'm sure things will pick back up again. Cakes are in the oven, and I've ordered sushi. Go, 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 Friday night.